Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dave Wilmer, and today we're going to be going over the commenting tool in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Now, this is a pretty extensive tool, the comment tool, so we're going to be splitting this tutorial up into two parts. The first part is going to cover the more basic functionalities, but let's get right into it. As you can see, we have a lot of icons at the very top of the screen. And let's start with the first one, the sticky note tool. It works just like this. So sticky note, you just choose wherever to put in the document. You click to place it. And the whole point of the sticky note is to have a comment associated with it. So this is a sticky note. And so then when you mouse over, this little tooltip will pop up saying that this is a sticky note. And moving on, the highlight tool up there, you just click and drag and it highlights. You can change the color over here in this little section. But for our highlight, we can also apply a comment just like we did with the sticky note. So this is a highlight. And with the comments on the right hand side, you can search for a comment. You can sort them by page, author, date, type, check mark status, or color. You can filter them by the similar criterion. Yep, and the rest of these tools, for the most part, will work pretty similarly. So you have the underline tool. Then the strike through tool. Then the strike through with a note to replace. And the next tool right here, the insert text at cursor tool, it's actually not a click and drag tool. So you just got to place your cursor wherever you want, really. And then you click. And so then this little caret down here pops up. So this is for when you want to make a note for somebody else to insert a word or insert a phrase in between two existing words. So. Mm hmm So that's how that works. And lastly, we're going to take a look at the adding text comment tool. So it's just a pretty simplified version of a text box, really. You just click, and your little space will be created. You have the option to change the font, the size, the color. And additionally, you can adjust the line spacing or decrease it. So let's just type it out. And yeah, those are the first, those are the pretty basic tools of the commenting tool. Next time we're going to be looking at creating full text boxes, the drawing tool, erasing stamps, attachments, and shapes. But until then, my name is David Wilmer, and take care, everybody.